All right, let's have a look at this next one. Uh, Kyle manages a gym. He asks 650 customers to rate the service in the gym. 412 customers rate the service as excellent. Kyle thinks that more than two thirds of customers rate the service as excellent. Is Kyle correct? So the best way to answer this type of question, in my opinion, is to work out what two thirds of the 650 customers would have been. So work out, if, if he was right, if it was two thirds, then that answer would be 412. So if we work out what, what two thirds of 650 is, then either it will be 412, which means he's right, or it won't be, which means he's wrong. Now to work out two thirds, all we have to do is take his original number, which is 650 customers. If we divide by the bottom of the fraction, so if we divide by three, that finds us one third. But we don't want one third, we want two thirds, so we times that by two, and now we have two of them, or two thirds. So this number here, what it means is that if he was right, if two thirds of the customers rated the service as excellent, then he'd have had 433 people who rated the service as excellent. He only had 412 people rate the service as excellent, which is not two thirds. Uh, just checking exactly what Kyle thinks, Kyle thinks that more than two thirds rate the service as excellent, but two thirds would be 433. So if it was more than 233, he'd be correct. It isn't, it's less than 233, so less than two thirds rate the service as excellent. So is Kyle correct? No. Uh, we're then asked to show a check of our answer, which is difficult for this question because we're dealing with so many decimals. Um, normally it's fairly straightforward just to say, I'll do a reverse calculation where you take uh, one of your answers and uh, undo the calculation. So for example, if I wanted to check this first stage of our working, then it would normally be straightforward to say 216.666667. Uh, we divided by three before, so now we're going to times by three, and hopefully our answer would be 650, which it is. So there is our check. It's just a little weird this time because we're dealing with big, big decimals. Normally it's like nice whole numbers or at least like just a 0.5 or something, and it is slightly unusual to have to go to so many decimals in a check. But that's our check. It does say write your answer in the box below, so I am going to type that out uh, in our working out box down here. There we go. Uh, there is our check. Um, don't be afraid of doing it with decimals. It can work. There are other ways of checking, but in this case, doing a reverse calculation worked absolutely fine. So there you have it. There's our answer. Hope that helps.